After 70 years, one Australian soldier will be reunited with his family. It's a wonderful piece of news for someone who's been waiting to find out where potentially their father, grandfather, uncle, brother, whoever might lie. The lost battlefield above Eora Creek was finally located after having been swallowed up by the jungle. A sacred place where dozens of Australians and hundreds of Japanese soldiers fought in the last great battle of Kokoda in 1942. Last year, Sunday night, travelled to this living museum with Captain Brian Freeman, a former commando. It was like walking into something that is untouched. We carefully uncovered weapons, ammunition, medical relics, even the remains of one young Japanese soldier. There are five Australian soldiers who are still unaccounted for who helped take the lost battlefield. And historians have always believed that their remains would never be found. And now, a year after our visit, almost 70 years after the battle, Kokoda has given up more of its secrets. The most recent revelation has been the identification or strong evidence that an Australian soldier has been found on the site. The way we discovered him was with a metal detector which then produced a helmet. And inside of that helmet was human remains. In the surrounding area of his grave uh, were pennies and shillings. His watch is an Australian watch. The button, one of the buttons found in his pit was and a button from an Australian uniform. And the boots he is wearing are Australian boots. The soldier's remains have not been moved. They're still in the same spot where he was found. Finding out who he is will now be up to an archeological team. Forensic scientists will return to the site probably next month. You know, with all due diligence and, and everything done correctly, this gentleman will be identified. And hopefully, reunited with his family.